All right, guys. This is a shop update uh, for the uh, second quarter. So, as you can see, we're wrapping up some builds from from quarter two production, and we got a number of machines getting ready to ship out. So, um, you know, this year's been a bit of a process uh, developing our uh, manufacturing processes to adapt to uh, a higher volume so as I've spoken in other videos you know we've been working on mass production systems and and uh, you know a lot of that has to do with uh, you know shop arrangement and then documentation and schedules and you know a whole bunch of stuff goes with that so uh, we are entering into third quarter production so over here is the CNC area again, and there's another two ton worth of sheet steel that we'll, we, we, we are processing. Um, I've been uh, short-handed, so we are a little bit running a little bit behind on, uh, on our shipping schedule. Um, my, uh, my wild tech here has been uh, having some personal issues, so he's been missing some time. And uh, you know, that leaves me to do, you know fill his position plus uh, do the shipping. So um, these parts here for uh, the kilns that will be going with uh, the orders that that order the kiln. And then you know this here is our order board. So we doing we we have so much volume right now we don't even have the packets to uh, fill the new orders. All the new orders are on this clipboard. And as these packets become available, we're, we're filling them. And we're going to completely fill this board. We're going to have to make the board bigger. Um, so we got some, uh, some parts ready for uh, some, some machines that were, had payments come in a little late. But that's okay. We have, we've had plenty of, of work to do, so it's all right. So we got these four to build. Um, right after these six are, are boxed up, these here are in their very final stages of, uh, of the build process. Um, so, uh, a few things I want to know, you know, um, there's some things going on in the, in the community, and, you know, these, these machines here, you know, everything that I do, this is my design, this is my IP, I developed this these systems you know and that came with a price um you know this company is uh over over a decade old um i've endured uh two market cycles now and i am the only surviving company that i know of from existing from the last market cycle and we are entering a brand new one right now um all others that are on market are new and they don't have the development behind them like I do. I didn't arrive at the charcoal units by just, you know, I didn't, didn't start this company and build charcoal units. I developed raw fuel wood gasifier systems for eight years. And those machines are some of the most developed machines on the market, or they were in existence at that time. And, you know, we pretty much, I pretty much had to come to the conclusion that, you know, the majority of the market wants to run a, you know this size generator single cylinder engine generator and I'm sorry but um, charcoal is the only way you're gonna run one of these you cannot build a raw fuel, raw chip fuel gasifier that's capable of running one of these that's gonna be su sustainable self-sustaining without engine stalling and without tar production 100% of the time charcoal is the only way you're gonna pull that off and I'll show you you know, we got a, a 2016 machine back here. So, you know, this reactor, this isn't some inferior design. This, is, this thing is uh, pretty advanced. I'm gonna go back into the shop so you can hear me better. But just so you, you can see, you know, that's one of the, that was one of our main products, uh, you know, back in the day. 
And you know, that machine had a conical hearth, it had an air preheat system, it had uh, behind that stain stainless steel was it was packed with uh, an expensive uh, ceramic um, insulation, and that stuff is really dense. It's, that stuff is used in in foundries, and uh, you know, so that thing the thing had a pretty advanced reactor, and then uh, the great uh, reduction system it had a radial um, draw uh, grate system in it, which was active. So what that what that did was uh, instead of pulling the get oops sorry instead of pulling the gas through the uh, the grate they actually pulled around it and that prevented grate packing and uh, you got more use out of the out of the charcoal so you know those machines are pretty advanced but you know 500 cc was pretty much the limit they they were best run with uh, the V twins. You know, hindsight's always 2020. You know, and you know we learn and we made changes, and you know here we are. Now we got a a machine. You know, I'm I'm in here talking to you guys. I'm not even worried about that engine stalling. Let's go back out there a second. Okay, that machine, those are the same machines that we're building in here, and that thing's just purring away, self-sustaining, there's no automation, it's just running. I'm not worried about tar production because we already spent the tar in the, in the charcoaling process. <clears throat> if there's another machine on the market and, and, and it can do that, prove it. I guarantee you can't. You know, if you're gonna, if you if, don't follow some guy blindly, because he's he tells you, make him prove it. There's no videos of anybody doing doing what that machine can do. So buyer beware, you know, because it's a big big investment. <clears throat> you know, pretty expensive boat anchor. <clears throat> Where these machines are priced fairly uh, reasonable, you know, we do have to. We have to make a profit, you know, otherwise we can't prosper. Um, you know, like any company. But you know, we're not we're not you know I'm not getting rich off this, trust me. If I were if I were into this into this to get rich uh, or wealthy, um, it wouldn't be uh, building gasifiers. Um, you know, we're doing all right. Um, you know, from 2015 uh, up until just recently in the last year and a half um you know the market barely existed and then um you know at 2015 you guys have been following me you know i was in a much bigger commercial shop I, you know i got left with a overhead i lost my house i had to move out of the shop i was homeless for four years you know now we're, now i'm just getting back on my feet and uh we're you know we're, we're starting a new chapter in the business it's really like a, a rebirth of the company and you know now you know i'm not some new player just starting out i have developed a developed product with years of development behind it backing it <clears throat> so you know and like i said these are my designs so that is honorable i'm not uh using somebody else's design i'm not i don't care if you're if you're doing it legally or illegally or however you're doing it if you don't have the the author's consent it's not honorable design your own damn machine it's not that hard just repackage it make it yours making a few changes doesn't make it your design so enough of that um enough of my rant um you know going forward oh well, like i said we're getting slammed with orders 
Um, you know, like I said, we're in a commercial shop. This is zone industrial. So all these shops out here are individual businesses. <clears throat> and uh, I was just informed that uh, building nine is gonna be available and the, the building on the far end will be available here soon. So the nice thing about being here is you know when that if we need to expand we can do that and then uh you know if the market drops out i'm not stuck with all that overhead i can just forfeit the building so we are looking at um getting building nine this fall and potentially uh turning that into the the wild cnc area and wild fab and then turn this into r d and uh the assembly uh, because this is the only building that's got a back door which is really cool. Um, well, I really can't think of it much else. But, you know, again, you know, listen to that thing running in the background. You know, if you think you're going to spend $12,000 on a gas fire and it's going to do that, good luck. Prove me wrong. All right, guys. Well, um, thanks for watching and, and enduring my rant. Oh, one other thing. There's been some talk about warning labels and stuff like that. Um, we are going to be doing all that. <clears throat> there will be a bolt-on label that will go on the lid. And this is basically a warning for the hopper gases. Because when you open this lid, this is full of um, flammable gas. And when air rushes in, you can get a flashback. And you watch lots of gas fire videos with people loading the gas fire and you sometimes you'll you'll see that so that's one warning that we'll have and then on the side we're going to be stenciling the uh the our name and the make of the gas fire into the side um with a uh, high temp uh, engine paint so it'll look sort of like a watermark you know it'll be like dfx you know s3 <laughs> yeah you know and we already do have our leg, our logo on the machines, and then uh, we'll, we'll probably put a uh, carbon monoxide warning here on the on the flare cup um, because that's really about the coolest spot on the whole entire machine. Even when this is flaring, this actually stays fairly cool. But there's a tube inside of here that really um, uh, retains all the heat, so we're not too worried about that. And then. Uh, we stamped the uh, the number, the uh, model, or not the, the serial number on the on the fusion. So we were doing all that, but things just kept evolving and evolving, and things got faster, and then then it fell apart, and then now it's back again. <laughs> so I'm working on uh, getting all that put back together, and uh, we'll be doing that. Um, right now, we'll be doing one-on-one -on -one con consults with uh, current users. So if they know all this and then uh you know we are still at startup phase but um i think we are for the first time getting ready to uh shed that um and really become a a, a producer of machines in fact uh, i'll be looking at getting into uh mass retail possibly with uh the m or the dfx1 at first um you may actually see one of them at a cabela's or bass pro shop someday so that is kind of my goal. I want to be the first uh, manufacturer in, in box stores. So again, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.